Hey, Joe. Hey. Why aren't you answering? Are you ignoring me? You're such a jerk for ignoring your wife's texts. What? You know I'm working, don't you? I don't care. I'm texting you because I need something. You got a problem? Not a problem, but you can call me when you want because you're a housewife, but I have to work. Isn't it obvious that I can't return your texts while I'm working? Why do you keep saying that I'm ignoring you? Huh? What's with the attitude? It's as if you're saying that I'm the bad guy. Who do you think let you marry me? Hey, I let you marry me. You don't have to say it like that. What? It's a fact. You're the one who kept on proposing to me. I married you under the condition that I got to be a housewife. I let you marry me. I think you should do as I say just a little bit. Huh, fine. And what did you want? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. We don't have any more spending money, so could you deposit some more this afternoon? We're not even halfway through the month? You already used up our spending money? My gosh, it can't be helped. I don't have any income because I don't work. I give you an allowance apart from the spending money. 200 bucks isn't going to cut it. The spending money isn't enough too. You want me to make ends meet with only $1,000? Rent and energy bills are taken out of my account anyways. Isn't $1,000 for food and everyday items more than enough? It's just us two. We don't even have any kids. What? No, it's not that. You're saying that the allowance I give you isn't enough. So you're spending the rest of our money? Huh? You don't make enough money in the first place. You can complain after you start making enough money to satisfy me. I'm tired from work, and I don't want to argue with you. I'll put $500 into your bank account during my lunch break. Will that do? As long as you get it. You should just do what you're told from the beginning, you dumb thing. If you understand, please work harder and make some more money. Bye. Hey, Joe. I'm going shopping right now. There's a new bag and my favorite brand, and it is so cute. It'll definitely look good on a woman like me. Really? If you want it, why don't you get it with your allowance? What? Oh my gosh. Why are you so bad at taking a hint? Shouldn't it be, do you want me to buy it for you? Ah, oh, you're so clueless. That's not a nice way to say it. It's my day off today, too. And I wanted to relax, you know? What the heck? I don't have a day off as a housewife. Why are you the one trying to relax? What do you mean, housewife? You don't cook or clean, and you make me do it all on the weekend. How can you say that? Isn't every day like a day off to you? Isn't that saying too much? Like I said before, I'm the one who will let you marry me. Again with that. Sorry, but I can't buy you that bag. I'm barely getting by too. Barely getting by? Even though you work at a pretty decent company? You might not understand, but our company's not doing so good right now. Management is taking a hit. What? Wait a second. That's the first I'm hearing of this. I thought it would worry you if I told you. There's going to be a salary reduction for us employees starting this month. What? Reduction? What the heck? That's not right. My allowance is going to be reduced? I won't do that to you, but we might have to cut back on a few things. I think buying lunch every day is a waste of money. So I was wondering if you could make lunch for me? What? Why me? If you want to cut back, can you do that by yourself? What? Why? Isn't it in times like these where we should be working together as a couple? Wait, wait. Can you, like, not drag me into this? Isn't it your fault that you're working for a company like that? It's your fault this is happening. Take responsibility for it, okay? Hold on. It's not my fault my salary is getting reduced. It's your fault that you chose to work for that kind of company. If you only had worked for a better company, this wouldn't be happening, would it? You'd better not make any trouble for me, okay? If my lifestyle is lowered in any way, it'll be your fault. I'll immediately divorce you. <laughs> no way! 
Hurry up and get a side job if you understand. I won't talk to you until your salary goes back up to normal. Goodbye. <laughs> hey, Rachel! Rachel, I have something to tell you. I know you don't want to talk to me, so text is okay. It's important, so will you listen? What? Make it short. I, um, I got laid off. What? Wait, what are you talking about? You're joking! I don't want to admit it either, but it was my company's decision. The company wasn't doing well and they had to cut back on labor costs. They only let professionals stay. All of my colleagues are getting laid off too. I'm really sorry. What the heck? Are you playing with me? Sorry isn't going to cut it. I'm really sorry for worrying you, but I really didn't think it was going to go this far. So I wish you would understand. I'll get right back to it. Can you wait just for a little bit? You've got to be kidding. I'm disappointed in you. You're the worst. You piece of trash. You're useless. Rachel, you don't have to say it like that. I'm just as surprised that it came to this. I'm so disappointed in you. I don't get it. You're jobless all of a sudden? Well, laid off. That doesn't mean I'm fired starting tomorrow. You're going to get fired sooner or later anyways, right? Ah, oh, unbelievable. You're really useless. I can't believe I married such a piece of trash, man. I'm embarrassed. What do you mean? You were able to do whatever you wanted thanks to me, you know? Normally you would say something like, let's both work in this kind of situation. Aren't married couples supposed to be more supportive of each other? What? Don't be kidding yourself. Why do I have to work? I got married to you under the condition that I wouldn't have to work. I know, but you don't have to push me away like that. It's only until I find a new job. Will you, will you please help me? No. Why do I have to compromise? What? Anyways, you're such a downer, so don't come home tonight. Bye. Fine. Sorry. Rachel, you don't seem to be home. Are you out somewhere? Oh, you're home. You haven't seen the living room? <laughs> living room? What is this? Why are there divorce papers? What do you mean, why? Isn't it obvious? I can't be a housewife anymore. So our marriage contract expires. My deepest condolences. <laughs> what the hell? You're divorcing me because I got laid off? Um, yeah. I can't really live in poverty. If you're going to suffer, do it alone. You're kidding, right? We've been together for five years. You're just going to end it like that? It can't be helped. <laughs> but whose fault is it in the first place? You got fired because you were such a useless employee. <laughs> fired. It was the company's financial problems. Don't make excuses. <laughs> Anyways, I can't live in poverty, so sorry. Just get divorced and go to hell already. Got it. Thanks. What? What do you mean, thanks? Have you finally become crazy because of getting laid off? No, to tell you the truth, I was also thinking that we weren't going to make it as a married couple anymore. But since I was the one who fell in love with you and proposed, I couldn't come out and say it. So you helped me by saying everything you just said. What? Oh, are you trying to act tough? You can't stand being left by your wife. So you're doing the whole, I was thinking about it too thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel so sorry for you, I could cry. It's not like that. I really was thinking about it. But I fell in love first and asked you to marry me. So I can't ask you to get a divorce, can I? It's a different story if you say it first. Why are you acting so happy? I'm telling you, I'm the one who is leaving you. I'm pretty sure you know this, but I'm the one who's dumping you. You're such a loser if your wife can dump you so easily. <laughs> Losing your job and your wife, your life is really over. Really? I don't think so at all. What? Look at you, trying to act so tough. At least now I can live any way I like. I feel free. Just keep telling yourself that. I'm so glad that I used up all of that money before you got fired. I took all the shared savings, by the way. 
What? You never told me anything. It's your bad that you never noticed. Well, it's your fault you got fired. I'll take it as a consolation money. Goodbye, then. Whatcha doing, Mr. Jobless? <laughs> Are you doing good? Wait, of course not. Are you living on the streets now? <laughs> it's been a while. I bet you're living a fun life after you ran off with my money. Ding, ding, ding. Good answer. I took all of the money you so nicely saved up when I left. So thanks to you, I am living a very nice life. You're really the worst. I don't know how you live with yourself. Do you have a problem? It is originally your fault that this happened. Don't take it out on me. And what do you want? I don't have time to associate with people like you. Gosh, so mean. How dare you say that to your ex-wife that you used to love? I even reached out because I was a little worried. <laughs> worried? Don't make me laugh. Have you ever been worried about me? I felt bad if you lived on the streets. <laughs> How is it? How does being uh, laid off and jobless feel? <laughs> I hope you become an elite out on the streets. My life is now the best. What? Are you seriously saying that? You must be crazy if you're saying that living on the streets is the best. Who said anything about living on the streets? I live in a condo. What? How can you be living in a condo? Wait, are you still living in our old condo? Yeah, it was the perfect size for two people. So it feels huge when it's only one person. Thanks for moving out. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, you're still living there without paying rent. You're going to get kicked out. You know, I wouldn't do that. I pay rent every month. And I don't have trouble financially at all. How? You were laid off, weren't you? How could you be moving like that? What do you mean, how? Because I'm working and getting paid like always? What? How? How can that be? It's only been two months since you were laid off. I told you. Just because I was laid off didn't mean I was getting fired right away. So I started job hunting right away and fortunately got an offer from a company that I liked. Now I'm working there. The benefits are good and it's a good work environment. The pay is about one and a half times better than the previous company. You're kidding! How come everything is turning out so good? I wonder why. Maybe because my bad voodoo is gone. What did you call me? Oh, while we're at it, the $15,000 you took from me, I will have you pay that back. What? Wait, wait a second. I already used 5000 How should I know? You stole money from somebody. Isn't it right to return it? Wait, how am I supposed to come up with the 5000 I already spent? Why don't you take out a loan? and then work to pay it off. It's as easy as that. I don't want to. Why should I have to work? I won't do it. Then go live the rest of your life running from loan sharks. I'll take you to court if you don't pay. So think about what's best. Think about it long and hard. I kept blocking all of Rachel's annoying texts and cut off all contact. However, since she never paid me back my money, I hired a lawyer and claimed my $15,000. Rachel ended up having to take out a loan and moved back in with her parents. She now works full-time at a local supermarket to pay off her debt. I was pretty gullible to let my ex-wife take advantage of me like that, but I guess I needed to experience this in order to grow. Hopefully I can find someone who wants to be with me, for me, instead of just the benefits of being married.